Astronomy and astrology, two of the most commonly confused terms among people. I like to distinguish it this way. Do you know what horoscope sign you are born under? Well, 98% of people I ever ask this to do know that, as I'm pretty sure you do as well. Now, here's the next question. Do you know what hor where that horoscope constellation is in the sky? Now, very few people are actually able to answer to that question. So there you go. Knowing your horoscope and uh, reading about it in the papers is all about astrology as well as wearing jewelry with awesome birth signs on them. But knowing where that constellation is in the sky is astronomy. Astrology is the belief that the celestial bodies affect our lives on earth, while astronomy strictly deals with the science of the celestial bodies and the entire universe. I'm an astronomer, not an astrologer, so I can't give you relationship advice, but I can tell you how to find that constellation in the sky that represents your zodiac sign. So these signs are always along the path of the sun, and here you can see them, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, um, we have Taurus here. So in Trinidad and Tobago, where we are close to the equator, it is pretty much generally overhead. Now, astronomy is the oldest science, so it's safe to say that it was born out of the belly of astrology. Ancient humans looked to the skies for their survival, and in doing so, they put gods in the sky, and we are all familiar with Venus, the goddess of love, Mars, the god of war. And so it is only natural that they saw that our destiny was tied up with the skies. Yet science does take that mysticism out of it, but replaces it with even greater magic of what's really out there in the heavens. The stars truly shine for you. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. The horoscope sign that you think that you're born under is not exactly the constellation that was in the sky at the time of your birth. Astrology is thousands of years old and in that time the skies have shifted just a bit such that a different sign is actually there at the time of the traditional astrological signs. So that's one difference between astronomy and astrology. And then the zodiac signs in astrology, there are 12 in a year. But in the astronomical zodiac, there are actually 13. Who knows, you may even be born under a zodiac sign that does not appear in astrology but exists in astronomy. Now you know.